Hey y'all, today's exercise is going to require a tennis ball. Now a more advanced version would be to use a golf ball and that will make this exercise a lot more intense for your feet. Okay, so we've got the tennis ball on the ground here. What we're going to do is stand with our heel on the ground and the tennis ball under the ball of our feet up by our toes. And from the front, you're going to want both of your feet to be next to each other. Not one in the back or the other one in the back. You're going to want them together. So from the side, it's going to look like this. And it's really important to think about being aligned at the hips. So you want your hip in a vertical line all the way down through your knees to your ankles. So you don't want your pelvis shifted forward where now the weight, if a line, if plumb line was drawn, the weight would be in the forefoot, the front of the foot. And that is not what you're looking for. You want to back your hips up till they're aligned with your ankles. And another thing you want to think about, you don't want your pelvis anteriorly rotated. And you don't want your pelvis posteriorly rotated. You want it nice and in neutral. Okay, we got our foot on the tennis ball. We'll come from this side and I'll show you. And we're going to do a static pass where we just put pressure on it as is. So our feet are designed to walk over natural surfaces. We'll move it up a little bit. So think of these natural surfaces. They're uneven. They have differing textures. Think of a sandy beach versus mountain hiking. Think of the little dips and hills in your own yard or rocks and acorns that are laying around. Okay, now we're going to move the ball closer to the heel. Our feet should form around all of these different shapes and objects, but after a lifetime of wearing shoes, stepping on a rock barefoot is painful. And we're going to move it a little bit closer to the heel. Because our feet are held against the flat, stiff, and unchanging sole of the shoe, many of the joints in the foot aren't encouraged to move individually. Walking on surfaces that vary in size and shape keeps our joints mobile. Okay, so we're going to think of our foot kind of in a grid-like pattern. And now that we've gone down the middle row, we're going to take it to the inside. So the ball will be inside start. So here we go. Hold that a little bit. You want to hold each spot for roughly 30 seconds or so. Let's move it towards the heel. Moving towards the heel here. All right, we're going to move up a little bit towards the heel. Now, if you find any spots that are giving you an extra sensory overload there, and you can really feel it, as long as it's not painful, give that spot a little extra attention. Okay. And now thinking of our foot as a grid, we're going to now do the outside portion of the foot. We're just going to sit there. And I'm not going to hold them off for a full 30 seconds. That would make for a pretty long video, so I'm just going to go through them. But when you're starting going from the ball of your foot and working your way towards the heel, maybe think of your foot in four different sections. you got the ball of the foot, and then you are headed towards your heels just a little bit, headed toward your heel just a little bit more. And then finally, we can rest on the position that is closest to your heel. Okay. And now when you've done the static hold, what you can do is come back to the middle, and this time, just use your foot to kind of rock back and forth between the inside and the outside. 
Once again, thinking of your foot in fourths, we're going to move the ball towards our heel just a little bit. Go back and forth. You can go back and forth five times or so. I think my cat's in the picture again. We're going to move the ball towards our heel again. We're going to go back and forth. Back and forth. I'm not going to do them a full four or five times because, like I said, this video will just take forever. And so back and forth, back and forth. Then we can switch sides and do a passive run with our left foot. Okay. Feels really good. And I'm doing this outside in the grass, which is giving me a nice soft surface. If you were to do this inside on a harder surface, you would find a little more intensity to the exercise. Now, it might be too much for you to do just on a hardwood floor. You could stand on a towel. You could do this on a yoga mat if you have one. I'm moving it further towards the heel. I'm going to do one more towards the heel. There we go. Okay, now after that, I'm going to come to the inside, as you can see. Give a little bit of time there. Now this is an exercise that you can do pretty much anywhere. You can do this at home. You can do this at work at the office. As long as you have a tennis ball or a golf ball. And like I said, doing this with the golf ball feels incredible. But it might be too much at first because the golf ball is smaller. It's getting joints to work in ways they just weren't used to. So right off the bat, you get a lot more sensation. All right, so we're going to come now to the outside of the foot. Do some static holds. Move it closer to the heel. Move it closer to the heel. One more. Remember, you can hold these up to 30 seconds. Okay. So now we're going to come to the front and do the little active rockers. From the outside to the inside. Do this four or five times or more, depending on how good it feels for you. It up. And one more. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on alignment and restoring function to our bodies. Y'all have a great day.